behind the scenes. <laughs> You're the right. Glam, the glam fall. Everybody's yeah. wasted, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! You get the memo? <laughs> it's 10 a.m. We're getting crazy. <laughs>Special guest, we can't waste his time. Sam yeah, Moeller's yeah. here. <laughs> How dare we waste his time? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's precious. We're just here. We live here. This is a good place to live. <laughs> How are you doing? Casual. I'm good. I'm lovely. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Of course. This was not far from the house at all. Oh. Yeah. It's that's, that's, that's pretty far from my house. I know. <laughs> that's what I said. I, I, guess. Left, I left at 6 a.m. <laughs> and I got here at 9. Uh, but enough about me. Yeah. I just live down, uh, live down in old Hollywood. It's not far. What do you mean, you guys? What, what did you? What you guys did are do? here. In, you guys are here in LA. We're in LA. Boom, yeah. in LA? Secrets out. Yeah. Watch out. Oh, nice. We're at studios in LA. Yeah, it's not that far. No. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, everything's far. How long have you LA. lived in LA? My whole life. Oh, really? Yeah, I was born in at Cedar Sinai, and uh, never oh. left. <laughs> <laughs> I live in Cedar Sinai. I just pop in to get my leg fixed, and I pop out. Uh, it's a nice place there. Spacious. True. Yes. The place yes. gives me a panic attack. No, it does. Yeah. I don't like going to the Every doctors. time I've been there, it's not been good. You know? Yeah. And yeah. every time I go back, I'm like, oh, no. I'm back in, <laughs> I'm I'm back in the again. scary place where something's Mine, bad. My experience is different. Actually, I, this is a pretty funny story. When I went to, to register at Cedar sinai the last time I was there was during Animal Chin when I got no. a staph infection from Wallows. What? Yeah. Because we, we flew from Wallows to L.A., it was the end of, end of Animal Chin. We were shooting Wallows. I, I fell. You can actually see the fall in the video where we're doing the train. Yeah. And then I stumble and, and I got a staph infection. I spent two days in the hotel room there, like thinking I had the flu because yeah. I had never oh, had you didn't one know before. Yet. Yeah. Flew to LA. We get to LA. Stacy drives me to Cedar Sinai. I go and get uh, prescription antibiotics. And then we fly to Phoenix the next day for Duo de la Diablo. <laughs> and you've got staff and yeah that's staff yeah it was it was pretty raw oh. but all the info that was in my well i say that because all the info that was in my registration was like my parents old address <laughs> my dad listed as the as the emergency contact he died in 95 you okay. know like it was it was kind wow. of a weird that's like a time warp so i have staff infection for. seat or so that's what happened to me i had i got i got uh i skated the bolt and this i hadn't skated for a long time my kids were still pretty little and we were riding the boardwalk in Venice and we went past the skate park and the kid's mother was like, you know, your, your father <laughs> used to skate. And they're like, really? And he's like, yeah, why don't you show the kids, daddy? And I'm like, yeah, why not? I'll carve around in the bowl and I yeah. carve around a couple grinds, felt good. And I was like, I'll do a 50-50 around the wall, the deep end. And it rolled out. And I hit my shin and I just fell in face first, but didn't hurt myself. And I was like, whoa, that was a close one. Yeah, and I looked down and my my shit is just like this big open, just like the just white a giant badge on my too. leg. Yeah. 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 And, and I'm like, oh, that's not, this is not <laughs> that's like, that's like not a Band-Aid kind that's of thing either. Yeah, I was no. like, this is a bummer. And then Ugh. people, there's like, this. it's weird. I didn't know that there was anybody at Venice that kind of watches for injuries. Like there's a monitor there. That's a guy was like, Hey man, do you need me to get an ambulance? And I was like, Absolutely not. <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> and, uh, so being a you know, being dad and being a, a bit of a like my father raised me to kind of ignore stuff like that. So we went on a bike ride and I just grabbed a oh. t shirt and tied it around it and went for the bike ride. Then I take him back to the parking lot, drive him to the house. Then I go to Cedars. a little loopy. <laughs> yeah, and they did the, you know, when they put the, the salad tosses in your leg to try and pull it together because, oh, it, like, it was open. Yeah. And because I've smashed it so many times, the skin is really tough, so it was, like, really hard to sew up. So I get sewn up, and I feel kind of bad the next day. I got Mercer from uh, the hospital. Oh, my God, dude. And that, yeah, and I was right. like, that was shout uh, out Cedar Sign. And that's when I learned what MRSA was. Oh. That's a really bad staff infection. So your experience oh. there was a little better than ours. <laughs> yeah. Maybe because you. I uh, said hello to the world. Yeah. <laughs> it brought you life. I, yeah. It gave me life. I think the only time I've been back was I got elbowed playing basketball and I got some stitches and I got no staff infection. I so. went back again because I cut my 
dick on it, on my zipper and <laughs> from doing some hardcore blue bowling. I just got divorced. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I had to there's, go back. There's a disconnect oh in that God. sentence. Somewhere. I got a staph <laughs> infection <laughs> on my penis, you guys. Oh, Hulk wow. versus Wolf exclusive. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, hey, I'm, I'm glad uh, you're okay. Yeah, right? Well, you know when something comes out and you're like, no, you? and it already came out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, well, I, I guess we. As I just have it, you yeah, know. <laughs> 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 I regret. <laughs> so welcome to the show, Cedars, man. Yeah. Huh. Uh, <laughs> let's let's uh let's let's meet our guest a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I feel Sam like I a... know you now. <laughs> I just met you, but I feel like I, I really know you now. Now let's get into the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's oh, we broke the ice. <laughs> yeah, we broke the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how was, I because I was blue balling and then I yeah. got it caught. You don't want me to explain. Yeah, well, it you're right. I don't. I don't. I don't need to. <clears throat> No, and we're trying we're trying to keep the you know trying to I thought I was trying to break the ice. No, we're trying to stay within the parameters of YouTube now or whatever it is. Oh uh, right? yeah, but that wasn't wait, did I do that? Yeah, you're fine. Oh man, I gotta watch myself. Sorry. Sleep is so important, and with miracle made sheets, you can tap into the power of self-cooling temperature regulation, which has been shown to improve deep sleep quality by over 20%. Using silver infused fabrics originally inspired by NASA, miracle made sheets are designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long. These sheets are infused with silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are like Luxurious, comfortable, without the high price tag of other luxurious brands, and feels as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by five star hotels. Clean sheets mean less bacteria to clog your pores and in for infections. I mean, I'm just speaking from experience. And fewer breakouts and other skin problems. Go to trymiracle.com slash wolf to try miracle made sheets today and with mothers and fathers day right around the corner this is the perfect way to give someone the love the gift of better and more luxurious sleep save over 40 percent and use the promo code wolf at checkout and save even more and get three free towels Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Thank, Thank you, you. Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. Nice. All right, so Sam is an extraordinary photographer. Thank you, And sir. I think you shoot film? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, try to. And we have worked together. we traveled together. And he is doing a new skate magazine, which is yeah. oh, a wow. brave venture. Yeah, I yes, it's a very expensive stack of paper, but <laughs> <laughs> what possesses thee? I don't it was like I was in Canada staying at my wife's mom's house for an extended period of time and it was really cold. It was during Christmas two hey. years ago. And so I didn't have a lot to do. And I was talking to a bunch of my friends who are skate photographers and they like the common theme through a lot of the conversations was all these photos either go to Instagram or they die on our hard drives. Yeah. So I was talking to my friend Joe Monteleone and he was just like, why don't you just start a magazine? And like do it once a year and just like get everybody's pictures out there. And I was like, you know what? I have a month and a half to do this in Canada, so why not? And so I, that's why I started it. And it's been really fun. It's just like a creative outlet and you don't, there's no rules. You can try things, do whatever you want. So it's, it's a good time. Is it hard to get advertising? Uh, not the first no not really i mean i work for dickies i'm the staff photographer for the skate program and so they were on board pretty much immediately and then i've done a lot of work for adidas and van so they were pretty amicable to to jump on to and then new balance kind of followed so hmm. no at first no but no, that's, we'll I mean, see it's only <laughs> i've only done three issues so <laughs> people could be like once a year uh i do twice a year twice, twice a, year. a year now yeah why 2001 that was the year that my dad got my got me my first skate magazine. It was a trans world. Oh, sick. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's just kind of like a Wait, wait you were skating before that and then you got the skate magazine? I started skating in 2000 and then I was I don't know, it was just kind of like a fun thing and didn't know anything about the culture of it and then about a year in I was like starting to pay attention, starting to play your video game and all of that and Oh, then, cool. Yeah, and then he got so, me a magazine. He stopped by a newsstand and was like, oh, you'd probably like this and changed my life. So is it like <laughs> an old skateboard magazine? Like, is there interviews and all that stuff or is it just really good photos? Uh, so like the bulk of it, it's like, it's, I think it's 170 pages and about 
a half of that is just skate photos. Like it's a photo annual effectively. Okay. But then there are interviews with skaters. Um, and like we try to do an artist or a musician or an actor yeah. as well just to keep things interesting. And So uh, can people get like the cover and then they're going to be the interview in there and it's a couple of pe- yeah. like that whole thing? Yeah, we, yeah, the first issue wasn't like that, but then we started started moving in that direction. But I, I don't think I ever want to put a skate photo on the cover because it feels like you're kind of, you're putting the, the, the best piece of dessert on the cover. Like I want to keep that in the, in the, so inside. what is the covers usually? It's like portraits or the second one was a, Lizzie Ar- Armanto had the, okay. the cover story and it was a photo of her in the pool and then like kind of a portrait Got it. strip of her and behind the image. And no, people, it looks really good. How are the youth with magazines? Uh, that's the I'm question. serious. Dude, no, I got no, a 13 exactly. year old yeah. and he wears stuff sometimes where I'm like, what are you doing? I, and he's like, <laughs> he's like, what? I'm like, I'm, you know, I can't, I'm, I don't want to, I'm not going to go, di- I'm not going to bash my kid, <laughs> but like I, like I would bash the rest of the world for yeah. wearing pants like that. But he has stuff on. I'm like, what's, is that, is, is that what, is that, I sound so old, but I'm like, is that what's cool right now? And he's like, yeah. I'm yeah, like, duh. oh, he's like, you don't like it. I'm like, eh, it's okay. He's got like sequ. He's got a belt. They all wear belts with like a lot of sequin stuff on mm. it. It's all Sparkly. shiny and big and heavy. And I'm like, that thing looks stupid. <laughs> oh my God. And, and then I saw a photo of his friends all hanging out, and they've like, oh, all got him on. That. So, what do I know? It's yeah. like aff- afflictiony kind of looking stuff. Mm. I'm like, it hasn't been uncool long enough. Like, what are yeah, you doing? Where, where are we in when the we cycle? Back, I feel like we're not all the way back. When are we bringing back Ed, Ed Hardy? <laughs> no, it is it's back, dude. That's it's fully back. Oh, it's back. That's, yeah, yeah. I'm oh, so glad you I'm, used I'm that one because that's the look. It's Ed Hardy, and then yeah. there's a more expensive designer that Ed Hardy copied or something. So it's people get the Ed Hardy, <laughs> wow, or they get this new one, uh, or they get a fake cool. of the new one because apparently it's very expensive. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. So yeah, we're the cycle has we're back. We're back, yeah. Yeah, but Keep no, I don't, I don't know about magazines. Well, I'm still finding out. I <laughs> said <laughs> you're bringing them, you're bringing back magazines. I'm so hoping well to bring, bring that back. back. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, we make a thousand copies of it, so it's like pretty. It's pretty oh, small. okay. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Everyone has grown a little bit, so we'll we'll see. Hopefully, yeah. it continues to do that. But yeah, I don't know. I think that's it's awesome. a learning game. Yeah. How did you get into while well, you were skating? But how did you discover that you could have a knack for skate photography? Uh, it, I mean, it was always, it's like the age old story. It was like, I sucked at skating and I wanted to be around my friends who were good at skating. So I picked up a camera and I was kind of always interested in, um, filming and photography. And then I remember I started filming with like a VX 1000 filming my friends. And then I went on a family trip to Africa and borrowed my dad's still camera most of the time. Cause it was just like such a beautiful place. And I kept stealing his and he was like, okay, where in Africa, uh, Botswana, Namibia, Zimbabwe, and South Africa. Yeah. It's legit. It was crazy. <laughs> wow. Literally mind blowing. Uh, yeah. And so when I got back, I sold my VX and bought a still camera and that was it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. We've worked, uh, well, we've traveled together and worked together a few times. <laughs> um, I think probably most extensively was that European tour. Oh my God. That shit was so fun. <laughs> that was really fun. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you go? Oh my God. We went to, that I was the hot we were... bus tour, right? It was no, no, no. No, we had the, no, no. We had the van. We had that crazy bus. We did for a yeah, little bit. The, of it. Yeah, we went to we went to Czech Republic, Denmark, uh, Spain, Spain. We went to Malaga. Yeah, wow. Uh, yeah, we went to that bone Switzerland? church. Switzerland. We went to the bone church. Yeah, with Kathy. outside of Prague. <laughs> yeah, you ever seen that place? Yeah, that place that is, is so golf. He wants to go there so yeah, bad. Yeah, it's pretty sick. Yeah, that was uh, that was a fun adventure. But uh, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> did we start in England or end in England or something like that? I think we did start in London. Yeah, yeah, because we did the we recreated the Abbey Road photo. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we. Uh, I I called Sam. I was like, Sam, uh, let's go to Abbey Road. We were in London, and we had a demo later that day. And I was like, let's go to Abbey Road. And just shoot like skating across the street, uh, and then got Jaws and yeah, Lizzie and Kevin. And Kevin. Yeah. Um, Kevin had to not push Mongo for that <laughs> shot. <laughs> it took a few tries. <laughs> Did you tell him that? Oh yeah. Well, I didn't. No, no, I didn't tell him. He just he does it instinctively. He knows like he's just gonna get tortured. If oh, he yeah. pushes wow. across, he, we did like the Mongo. classic like leg dangle yeah, push, yeah, yeah, yeah. Out, you know, recreating the stuff. And he no, he was good about for it. The yeah. photo. <laughs> it, yeah, it took a couple tries. It did. <laughs> yeah, be proud of your Mongo. But if you try to go there, I mean, it's such a busy intersection. 
Yeah, it was it was kind of chaotic. And it's just chaos. And everyone's waiting at the and, crosswalk. And doesn't to do everybody want to do that? Yeah, so everyone's yeah. waiting at the thing and cars are honking and like Like if you're local, you're like stop. Yeah, again. Yeah. But then some people realized that it was you and then it was just like like yeah, that it started to become it. a little bit of It a, was really it was really cool though. We, yeah. we got we got the shot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know if Aaron and I told you, but we went to you called us probably like seven in the morning and we had gone to bed at six in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I remember I, pushing on the way there like, like God, I was, die. <laughs> yeah, that was par for the course yeah, on that yeah, trip, trip for sure. That was kind of the Yeah. It was a good time. It sounds yeah, like you guys did true. a lot of stuff that wasn't skating. We did and uh, we did a we lot of, a lot yeah, of we tried to oh Jaws rolled his ankle yeah, skating we, in Spain. And then you got I didn't go to that on that trip. Because I had the kids with oh, us, but um, yeah, you, you guys went, went to some crazy hike on the on the mountainside. In, in, yeah, what's the mountain range there called? The uh, Andalusia it's, mountain range. It looks range. so precarious and dangerous. There's this bridge that's just on the side of a cliff. The way okay. they pitched it was like this is the most dangerous <clears throat> hike in all of Spain, and Aaron has like a almost a broken ankle, and we're like, and, and, and the and place is closed. The place is closed for the season. Yeah, like so they, it's like they got sketchy. him to open it up. Yeah, okay. And so they carried Jaws. On like, on like an Egyptian, like Pharaoh. Yeah, yeah. really? Yeah. Awesome. That's how you, that's how yeah. to hike. That was the vibe for the trip. Like everybody was so, it was like such a family. Like If I could do that, yeah. I would hike everywhere. Yeah, exactly. If people just carried, carried me on me the too. throne. Yeah. I that think, way, you know? <laughs> Please, sir. Yeah, and I then, think you enjoyed uh, ben that. Ben kept playing um, Four Non Blondes. Uh, What's going on? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? Every every time we get in the bus, do you remember that song? Screaming that What's song. What's going on? Yeah, I, yeah. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know if you dabble outside of you know metal, but oh, you're gonna go there. <laughs> <laughs> I have a huge range. Okay, big range. Yeah, big big. You range. have a lot of influences around in surrounding you. Yeah, look, you talk, you're to, you're referring to my old school music tastes, but since the last like twenty years, I I, I listened to like. Uh, like a lot of soul music. Really? Like maybe 80% of my music oh, okay. is that. I still listen to Metallica. I still to the love other Metallica the and all the basics, but yeah. I'm a lot more into like Marvin Gaye and stuff like that. That's sick. Yeah. That is sick. That is but yeah, soothing. the whole, he's into, my wife oh and my him God. have a, a taste where they play music where it, if it's background music, it's still hell for being in the room. Like, <laughs> You can't ignore it, you know? Like, it's not <laughs> casual. It's like this weird... Yeah, it's, it's not all, passive listening nah, music. It's just, <laughs> even if it's turned really low, you're like, what is that? <laughs> you, you don't know about that? I'm like, who would know about that? It's the worst song ever. Yeah, they love that You song. have to have the most comprehensive music knowledge out of anybody I think I've ever I, met. I don't know. I, I, well, I hope that it's robust. That song is it is. robust. It's wide. It's certainly robust. But I do remember... The the very last drive was from Munich to Prague. We stopped at that weird full pipe. Yeah, where you did the front blunt. Yeah, yeah, where it was. What was that? I don't, I don't even. We weren't even in. I think we were in Romania. I don't even I don't know. Even it, was, know. it was some yeah. weird country in the middle of the forest. Literally, we had some yeah. locals like oh, off the road, drive down these dirt roads. <laughs> we're in a bus, yeah. massive tour bus, like, yeah, like a yeah, like a passenger bus, and and like yeah, and then so we're driving off road, and then we come upon this weird full pipe thing with like a, a little sort of half pipe on the extension of it is it good like it was built good yeah uh yeah kind of yeah i remember Decent. being pretty but it was like covered in the, like a a thin layer of green goo for a while because right, it's in it, the, was it was it was yeah, super the, sketchy but in the middle of I, nowhere yeah so we went and shot photos there then we get back on the bus then everyone's excited to go to Prague and like the music starts yeah, it gets to turn way up. Everyone's like, everyone's got a bottle of wine, and was, I mean, you're on to you're going to Prague. You, you got to get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember that specifically oh, yeah. where that was the sort of crescendo of the whole trip. Yeah, yeah, building up. And to then the last everyone stop. is singing that four non blonde song. Go. Yeah, and the reason I say this is because that, it was fun. It was but fun. Uh, I ended up working with Linda Perry. No way. Not long after that, because she helped me um, get a Sex Pistols song for something weird connection that's a crazy yeah but um but i sent her that video <laughs> Everybody she wrote the song freak it out in the van oh wow that's amazing. and she was super hyped that's sick like have you shown him the video of What's trent that? reznor <laughs> no not yet no he has the greatest cameo that anyone could ever have orchestrated <laughs> ever in the world yeah but i don't even know when that's coming out so we can't sorry <laughs> just the fact that you can get trent yeah, yeah man i'll 
do a video for you. It's it was just, pretty cool. It's yeah. so cool. It's it's he looks cool. great. I know. That guy's a legend. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. Him and Atticus were working on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's the full circle. When I went there, they're working on the soundtrack oh, to soundtrack, that movie that Seth told oh, us yeah, about. Oh, yeah, he was talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Whoa, man. Yeah. Small world. Tight circles. It Illuminati, shrinks. bro. It shrinks, Whoa. man. <laughs> 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 um, but I do want to talk about, uh, you, you did a favor to me, which was super cool, and it's I still one of my sure. favorite things, is when we did that Damned album cover. Oh, my God. That was so fun, too. That What's was, that? Uh, you were doing, you wanted to do a board graphic of the damned album cover of like the whole band kind of crowded around each other covered in cake. And yeah, have you ever seen that? No. Nah. It's from it's a beautiful, um, it's from beautiful Damn, picture. Damn, Damn, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. And you would know better than The that. album cover is, is them. They just got hit with cake. Oh. And, but there's, it's this iconic shot. It looks like shot. a Renaissance paint. Like it's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I, I told him I wanted to do it with, with some of the team. And, He's like, all right, come to my house, you know, like next week on this day. And so we got, uh, who do we have? It was Clive. Li Clive, Liz. Lizzie, yeah. and Ben. Ben, yeah. Right? No, yeah. Jaws. Jaws. Yeah, Jaws, Lizzie, Clive, and Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I was in it. I was not too old to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> but he had the whole thing set up. Like we had the, the cover. We had them lined up and then, you know, like putting the the yeah. frosting and cake I can't on remember them. what it was i had just done a job and i had there was like a prop stylist or somebody on that job and yeah, i it was mentioned so awesome. i was like hey do you want to cover some skateboarders and cake next week <laughs> and they're like absolutely yes right that sounds um, fun it was really cool yeah so we just did it in the house and then after we had finished the photo shoot there was a full on cake fight and then everybody had to take a shower the, <laughs> oh that's the... right <laughs> i had to go straight on to something else no we had to dinner after I think, that yeah we went to uh ink yes yeah. Wow, you remember that? That's crazy. That yeah, food is I, was, really I still had cake memorable. in my hair from that, and I wasn't even in the photo. Um, <laughs> Everybody was covered in cake. But it's funny because that was like, to, for for me, that was, I don't know how to explain it. Like, it was so special to me, and it meant so much, and, and awesome. it didn't really, like, move the needle elsewhere. Yeah, Some people was, got it. Yeah, yeah. But definitely, I mean, the only person who even knew that album in the photo was Ben. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Everybody's like, what are we doing? Yeah, and he keeps <laughs> playing it in the background. To help. I was like, what is this? I'm like, this, that's what we're this doing. Wait, people said, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you're the in the photo, we're trying to create it. the vibe, you yeah. know, not working at all. Wow. <laughs> like, geez, let's all learn the lyrics to neat, neat, neat. It'll be cool. It was really fun. Um, and then yeah. that meal. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what was the most memorable thing about those or that Euro trip? Oh, my God. I, I remember walking around Copenhagen. I don't know, just the vibe. It was like the it encapsulated the vibe and like on a skate trip, it's rare that you get to just like walk around and go, go see Stonehenge when you're in the United Kingdom or like oh, go do right. these things where like you get to really just hang out and spend time with each other where it's not just skating. So I feel like if you have older skateboarders on tour, those things are more likely. Yes. Cause I just remember for the first 10 years of my pro skateboard career, you know, I went to Europe every year Yeah, and people would ask me, what what, what it was see? like oh, and i yeah. was like ramps were pretty good <laughs> yeah you know, like, i remember i remember at one point being in, on a train yeah. and people were going to go get mcdonald's because we had like time to kill and someone was like let's go see the eiffel tower and i was like nah i'm good i just gotta get a burger <laughs> <laughs> but i'd never seen it but i was not i was like i'm because like, you're focused. I know, I know the demo's that, like, coming yeah, soon. Yeah. I'm yeah. like tower what uh, what, so what yeah. am i gonna do take a photo of it like <laughs> i just didn't get that it yeah. would be something maybe you would appreciate. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, well, I was wet, you know, 38, 40, where I was like, man, what's, what's, yeah. Wait, I've been here before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I just, the whole trip was just moments like that. We skated a, t a ton and like got a ton of tricks. I think we got a full article out of it. Yeah, Filmed yeah. a lot for the video. That was yeah. like the start of the video, right? So that was is. the start of the video. That that trip, when I saw everyone um, just all the synergy and, and how everyone was, was being like a family and, and getting all these clips. And I was like, we got to do a skate video. That was the beginning of what yeah. became Saturdays. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was like, I don't know, it's rare to go on skate trips where the vibe is like that. And it was a very special trip. For is sure. that your favorite thing to do when it comes to photography and skateboarding is be on a tour or do you like going somewhere and getting a shot of something? 
It's, yeah, I think so. Traveling is definitely the best part because you just like visually the language changes, so you kind of get out of your own way, and you. you It'd be easier to take more creative, different photos because you're going around to all different yeah. places too, right? Yeah, you're generally experiencing things for the first time, so it's more reactive as opposed right. to like, oh, I'm going there again. Okay, and like when you're home, it's easier to be distracted by other stuff going on in life. Yeah. Whereas when you're on a trip, you're fully immersed, obviously. So. Right. Yeah, I I love traveling for skating. It's the best thing in the world. Yeah, I don't do it anymore. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean, I'm not very good, so nobody would really want me to go on their tour. But it was, I think, for a while there, it sounded really painful. But what? like when I would see some of my friends still on like a bus or something, I'd be oh, like, oh, yeah. You're like, oh, God, I'm so glad I don't do that anymore. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I got to a, a part in my life where my routine was sort of more of a home. I go to work, I yeah, go home. For sure. I'm, and I like it. I've mm-hmm. designed it where I enjoy it. And, and sure. now sounding like going on a plane and getting off my routine sounds like uncomfortable to me. Yeah. But I, from doing stand up lately, I went, I went to Phoenix the other day to do a show and I was like, Oh, I'm flying somewhere and I'm, I'm in a hotel. Did and I give I'm, you that feeling. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, you know what? This is because I think I've had a big break. So now it kind of set, it's like skateboarding. Like I'm more excited about doing it now. For sure. Yeah. Cause I took a big break. So I feel like sometimes you would not enjoy being in a hotel room by yourself, but Most I certainly. was pretty pumped, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then do the gig. And then also the gig, you don't get hurt. There's no pain, you know? Yeah. So how did it go? Good. Yeah. yeah. It's all, I always look at it like that. Like if it's a big crowd and the pressure's on, I'm like, if you bomb, you're not going to be sore. No. <laughs> you know, like there's no pain coming in pain. You know, it gets tedious. For sure. Yeah. So it, the road sounds fun again to me. That's good. I could be wrong. I could go on a tour with him and be like, oh my God, why did I say <laughs> this? This shit hurts. <laughs> but I, it does sound kind of exciting again to see yeah. new things. What was the last trip you went on? What was the last trip? I was to New York for a Dickies campaign for Jake Hayes. He's getting like a capsule for Dickies. And, uh, a capsule? A capsule collection, like a just a series of clothes that he designed. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Uh, and we shot it all out there. I don't know about Castle, <laughs> man. He's really old. He doesn't know about Castle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it was pretty. I mean, I've been in New York a bunch, so uh, it was. It felt a little bit more like work than you know those. Do trips you go? Where, like, do you go skate in between out. shoots? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Here, like in LA, or or oh, New York. out there. Yeah. Uh, I mean, though that one specifically was like fourteen-hour days, oh, like wow. shooting all day. Yep. Because we have to shoot like the portraits and the lifestyle and the more fashiony stuff, and then shoot skating as well. So have you done any of that sort of lifestyle stuff outside of skating? Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of like what you were talking about, like doing something new, kind of in the same vein. Like you're traveling, but you're doing it for comedy. It's shooting fashion or shooting portraits is kind of like that. Like it, it feels kind of familiar, but it also is a completely new experience and. I don't know. I, I love shooting that. Kind but of do stuff you have sure. a portfolio that that shows that that's you know that you're that versatile? Uh, it's starting to build now. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Um, actually, that project that I shot you for. Remember, you were yeah. watering your lawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was watering my lawn <laughs> mid pandemic. <What>? You <laughs> did it. I'll let him explain. It like the most boring shot picture on earth. You shot a photo of, me, <laughs> you you a photo of him mowing the lawn from his car of me watering my lawn. Yeah. On purpose, you got in your car. <laughs> Yeah, so that was the stipulation. This wasn't just like you're driving by and you saw Tony Hawk on the lawn. <laughs> yeah, in my cul-de-sac. <laughs> just, oh, I'm just turning around here. Weird. Oh, hey, what's what up? What the hell was the point of this? <laughs> Sorry, uh, but it was so it was mid-pandemic, and I I do some work for this uh, company called Essence. It's like a fashion retailer that has a a magazine as their like, you know, a way to push the products that they sell. Yeah, my wife works there, and. Uh, so it was mid pandemic and they were having troubles producing photo shoots because like nobody could be around anything. So um, they came up with the idea to photograph 10 skateboarders from my car so I didn't get too close to them. And then the skateboarders would send a postcard, send a postcard to whoever they wanted. So they would write a little message um, to whoever they wanted. And then the designer would design it as if the photo was the postcard and they would hand write the message on oh. the back. And so I photographed Tony from my car watering his lawn because, like, you're pretty I totally limited. I do that all the time. <laughs> do you, you, know, you, never, you don't do no, it, do you? We had, sprinklers. We, we had to turn the sprinklers off. That's so. right, we did. 
<laughs> oh, wait, they were on at the same yeah. time. This is not a water conservation friendly story. No. But <laughs> hey, that was a while ago. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. Um, uh, so you had me write a letter or a postcard. I wrote it, yeah. I think, to my dad. You did, yeah. And it was beautiful. Um, I just remembered that that Sam Jones had me read that when he interviewed no me for his doc. Wow. Um, I guess he didn't use it, but yeah, no, he, I he pulled it out. Sure. Like, can wow, you read? Can we read this on camera? Like, what is it? Well, that's that's crazy, the letter man. you wrote to your dad. I'm like, oh wait, what? <sighs> I, where did you? How did you get yeah, this? What the? Yeah, a little preparation, sir. No, no, it was cool. But you said that sort of sparked something for doing. Yeah. So like, I I've been working for that. Uh, company a little bit more doing more like fashion based stuff but that was kind of like a transitional moment where you're shooting skateboarding something that i'm familiar with but in a way that is different from the normal way of documenting skateboarders who else basically. was in it uh alicia was in it uh ashad was in it p rod was in oh, it yeah. uh, i'm forgetting people but it was it was 10 people grant taylor was in it uh, it was good. It was really fun. It was nice to just see everybody too, because yeah. we had all been cooped up. So it was just nice yeah. to go around and say, "Oh, hey, you're over there, but what's up? Nice to see you. <laughs> you're you're alive. I'm alive. Good. All right. Cool." Uh, that was yeah. such a wild time. Oof. So do you take you take photos of models as well, right? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. How's that? It's fun. It's it's. What? How's that? <laughs> well, I just feel like it's a diff like you. They're a different kind of group yeah, of people, right? It's definitely nice to photograph people that are comfortable being photographed. Yeah. Skateboarders, for the most part, are like, they're used to being photographed, but they're not paying attention to you photographing right. them. So photographing somebody that's Who very good at being photographed yeah. and like, no matter which way they turn, you're like, wow, that's a nice picture. It's you can you can tell like so <laughs> most of them have a thing where every pose they're like, like you go, wow, that's exactly where you should be. For For a good model, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Is there people that you've come across that are hot but uh, bad at modeling? <laughs> come on. If he knows that someone is doing yeah, the, the, I know. the correct I actually, pose I love how time. bluntly yeah. you put it. There are, there are definitely good-looking people that are just like not naturally like effusive and good in front of the camera. Right. For sure, yeah. Is There's it, still hope. What's the... Uh, yeah, right. No, if you're really hot, I believe you can figure it out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Always. I'm not saying it's not difficult. I'm just saying, bit of practice. I reckon if you're really hot, you can probably get the pose. <laughs> yeah. I think have you uh, have you blown the shot skating? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. More when I was younger, and when it was like I was still shooting film, and they, not as much to risk. Yeah, I mean, like I kind of caught the tail end of the the film era, and. It yeah, was, it was scary for sure. <laughs> yeah, and now I'm like trying to go back to that because I don't know. It seems, film? seems fun and dangerous. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I think really these days, especially if you're trying to shoot skate photos, you're, you're usually just going for a still frame, right? Yeah, most so of the time. Yeah, the sequence it doesn't have to be kinda, the sequence. Right. It doesn't even have to be the make necessarily. But yeah, as long exactly. As there was a make, right? Right. But um, yeah, the I shot changed. a sequence. The, the photographer who will remain unnamed um i did a i did a fakie to fakie lean 540 Ooh. and he missed the oh, shot God, dude. and Recently? like, like that a again. sequence so i had to do it again and i just got That's rocked a, always like, oh, no. always what happens sliding all the way down sideways whoa bam like oh my god dude helmet flies off the whole deal oh that... and he, he did not he wasn't accountable because that's... <laughs> I was a little upset. I was, he was like, like, dude, what he's happened? Like, he's like, oh, man. In that sorry, circumstance, uh, yeah. I'd rather be you than him. You know what I mean? Like yeah, but that's I the blew... thing. He didn't really acknowledge that that was... I, the reason I had to do it again was because he blew the that's, shot. That's what an he, asshole. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fucked up. Because if that happens, that's what always happens when you ask somebody to redo it as they get right. hurt. Can you do it? Just, just, just do one more, like... Can, one, yeah. can you, like, tweak it a little bit harder? Yeah. Like, yeah, because it's probably... Every, you know, it's usually if it's something you haven't done before, it's everything you had to make yeah, it. Yeah, 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 exactly. And you're like, wait, just do it again right now? I'm like, dude, that was everything yeah. I had. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now, like, the, the adrenaline is, like... Yeah. I'm I've like had a wet noodle, probably. Uh, yeah. Chris <laughs> Ortiz. Oh, you, again? Perfect. you know who that is? Who? Chris Ortiz? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So he was always a friend of mine. When I the first, got off the plane and he was cool with me, I was... Somebody said a, a racist word at a at a house party, and 
I threatened to fight all of them and he came and saved me because they were all going to destroy me. Oh, God. He's always had my back because he could tell. He's like, you don't know what you're doing yeah. here. So I'm going to watch it because I was like, you can't do that. And he's like, hey, man, don't say that to yeah. them. I'm like, I can say whatever I want. Probably not a good idea. Probably, probably, maybe don't. <laughs> like, maybe okay, don't. so he kind of saved me a lot. Yeah. But he filmed me many years after it. So we'd been friends for over a decade. Yeah. And I was doing a line, like a bunch of tricks together. And I'd been working on it, sweated two T-shirts out hours you know and then yeah. i finally make it and it was really it was my max for sure i don't think i could do that line again and i do it and everyone's celebrating i'm on the deck celebrating and chris is on the In other the side corner, of the ramp like, just got this face of total uh, depression i know that face and i'm like no no and he's like Dude, battery died I'm so he didn't press record yeah. or but something. see at least yeah. he you know he felt it that sounds like yeah, yeah. oh no that was yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. did you do it again i yeah yeah I think so. <laughs> that was one of those things where it was a happy ending. Yeah, it had to. I had to. Yeah. Like, yeah. It was. If I left and he didn't get the video, I don't know yeah. if I could have slept that night. I was like, "We're doing it again." But, but I, I don't think it was as good as that one. <laughs> yeah. Like I think I kind of scrape made it instead yeah. of. But what did it take a while to like mentally get back to that? Yeah. Point? Yeah. Oh yeah. It didn't I didn't do it like third oh. try after it? It was another hour for sure. That those are the moments when you're like, "Wow, this really feels like a." terrible job right like, but the oh, difference to your photographer <laughs> that i could feel that chris really wanted yeah. me to make it still he's right, like please right. get that back so that i can too yeah. yeah he's a good dude he is a very Th there good. is a part of, of being the one being photographed filmed whatever that a motivator for me to make stuff will be that i have wasted so much of the filmers or photographers time all right that that i'm like i just i gotta make it so that we can all go home <laughs> That's a motivator for you. See, yeah, for sure. Yeah, me yeah. too. That's funny because I even in like four hours into trying a trick, like I, I'm never thinking about like, fuck, like this is such a waste of time ever. Really? Never. Even when, I, when especially when you're in it, even when you get like that deep into it, you're like, yeah, I feel like I'm in it with you. Like, yeah, we got to get this. We got to get this now. Like there were sessions when they were filming for Pretty Sweet where I was out with Guy Mariano or Mark Johnson and. They would be trying tricks for like four hours or right. sometimes it was like we would go back for days and days and yep. you i really felt connected to like we're gonna do this we're gonna do this yeah so i, I never that goes that a long way, way but if it's, if it's were a there any of those it. times where you're like well i already got the photo of the thing so <laughs> no that was the sequence day so i had oh, the I sequence days yeah. yeah oh man <laughs> the opposite of that is dan stewart who you don't make it <laughs> oh, no, and then he, he grabs the, the film, film and film rips it out of his camera and throws it i'm like wait what how i didn't know i was that offensive you know like i thought i was gonna slam i'm sorry i didn't make it oh that guy is such like a he's like a unicorn or like a ghost i, I don't think i've ever seen him in real life and he's probably in the corner of this room right now. <laughs> he could be uh you and bowman just came over to my house the other day and he was talking about him and you and asked him for a portrait like last week or something and he told you and basically like you see your hand Fold your fingers down, and that's my answer. <laughs> it's like, wow, this guy sounds like a legend. Yeah, that's He's an angle scary, for sure. Scary guy. He shot a photo of me that was kind of just off the cuff. I was trying to learn switch stale fish, and oh my god, he got really low on the ramp and and got the shot. That's like, I was like, damn, that looks really good. You know, like it's just a vert air photo. It's not a big deal, and that became the cover of one of the THPS games no oh, way and a lot of people thought that they screwed up the photo and mirrored it and so every like, time no, i no, talk about switch. it I was like, no, no i did it it's switch i swear <laughs> you doubt me <laughs> it was project eight i have to look it up i remember yeah. the photo now that you say that was on the cover for sure black and like white. grainy black and white yeah 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 for sure yeah. orange text yeah yeah wow. yeah yeah dang look at you I stirred photos. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who were your inspirations? Uh, Atiba, always. Uh, Mike O'Mealy, for sure. Yeah. Skin. Um, Oliver skin. Barton. Like, those were the guys. I grew up really, my first magazine was a trans world, and it was like right before, I think, maybe Atiba and everybody left, and Grant left to start the skateboard mm -hmm. mag. So I got like Atiba, Grant, all those guys, and then got the O'Mealy, Oliver Barton era and skin era. So I... I just loved all of those guys. What was your first published photo? Uh, first published photo. It was probably, I think it was a front shove over a handrail in West LA of this kid, Josiah Gatlin, who was on stereo at the time. 
and it was ran like just about as big as the film was. <laughs> yeah. I think under the masthead of Transworld. <laughs> I was like, look, I got my first photo run. It's very small, but it's there. <laughs> That's uh, sick, though. But yeah, it was cool. Actually, no, I'm lying. It was a Who's Hot in Skateboarder, my friend Elliot Wright. Oh, wow. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. Yeah. And it, when, that... when they redid Skateboarder, obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. for sure. Because when I was a kid, Who's Hot was the, the way that they show up and coming AMs. Yeah. You know what Who's Hot is? Uh-uh. Dude, it was for for my generation, you know, like Grosso. Yeah, it was a huge deal. Yeah, yeah, that's like a kid. Lance pages? Cab. Yeah, no, no. Oh no, no. Each one was a single page. Each but one they was had four a single in the page. Back. Okay, yeah. But it would say who's hot, and then it was like who's you know some up and coming kid, and I just read him and was like, oh man, like that kid. Uh, oh, I know that. Only dude, two like, years yeah, older yeah, than yeah, me. Yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> he got a who's hot, and then by the time I would have gotten a who's hot, skateboarder shut down. Oh. <sighs> I think I actually wrote an article about, about that, that in Skateboarder Magazine. <laughs> the pain. When they first came back with it, I was like, I never got a Who's Hot. You should get one. Oh, wait, it's too late again. It's too late. Fuck. Can you do it? Yeah. Who's <laughs> old? How about who's old? <laughs> who's old? Man. And still skating. Man, I'm coming up after you, Tony. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't wait for my interview. That would actually be oh, so funny. <laughs> the same. It was like a thumbtack. Exa so yeah, the same exactly. Thing, like, the old? layout. That would yeah, be so funny. All right, let's do one. Uh, uh, so we need that's 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 the photo that I need you to shoot. Okay, I got you. old photo. Who's old? <laughs> yeah. You should use the photo of you hosing the grass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what he does now. <laughs> Look at him rip. That's kind of true, actually. Sad, oh sad but true. It's uh, correct. <laughs> this shit starts to hurt, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so God. where do you skate these days? Uh, I mean, all over the place. I haven't, honestly, I haven't skated in like probably five months, maybe. I've been playing a lot of basketball. It's like uh. a little bit more exercise, just as bad for How your body, ankles? but yeah. yeah, not, not great. They started out shitty just because skating is really bad for your yeah, ankles. Yeah, I, I mean, one of the worst roll, ankle rolls I ever had was playing basketball. And then, yeah, uh, yeah, That was the message to me, like, no. <laughs> it's almost Stop every game, it. too. Like, just a little tweak, but then yeah. they start to build, and it's... Um, but South Pass Park, you ever go to South Pasadena Park, skate park? No. It's a fun, like, prefab park tucked into South Pasadena. I used to love going to Stoner, too, on this side of town. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just I play basketball for exercise now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. We should make sure no, you want to play? No, I can't. Let's do it. Because I will take you take to it. the hole, Tony. Oh my god! Did I we already you do will. this? Yeah. Yeah, we. Yeah, I beat you. I've already beat you, and I'll beat you again. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, already? Wait, when? What? How? We played. We played basketball against each other when we were on tour, and. Uh, yeah, I was obviously way the better. Than but, but who's counting? Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just, I just knew because it's I always chose to forget it. <laughs> it's interesting to watch skateboarders play mainstream sports, especially being a foreigner that didn't grow up with basketball. Right. But I got into basketball when I moved here. You know, Lakers, blah blah blah. It was, it was a thing. I started playing ball with some of the Americans that watched the game and were that take it way too seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I got into it. You know, yeah, started yeah. crossover and stuff. Not good, but. I, I'm always trying to yeah, you're built whatever for it sport too, for people sure, are doing. Yeah. I want to pose and try to be like it. <laughs> yeah. So I kind of got a, I had a few things, not very good, but so much better than almost every skateboarder. Oh, for sure. That it was very surprising to me. Like I'm like I, there's a couple of people I know that are amazing skateboarders. Yeah, yeah. This friend of mine who's the same age as me, roughly Sluggo. Yeah, you know, yeah Sluggo. Sure. Yeah, of course. Sluggo uh, was an Olympian. He was like a Man Canadian breakdance cha champion, <laughs> pro <a> snowboarder. <laughs> He's done it all. Like yeah. one of the most athletic people alive. Yeah. If you throw him a basketball, <laughs> it just bounces off his face. Oh. <laughs> he doesn't understand the concept of his hands coming together for the ball. In They're my just, defense, I'm not that bad. You're pretty bad. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm just trying you to go outside. You up. Bro. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get him to go because he's lanky. I, did play, basketball. Up, I yeah. did play basketball before I skated, but you I, hadn't grown yet, right? No, but I was feisty and fast. Yeah. Ooh. You like, now, ah. now you're tall. I couldn't make baskets, but I could get the ball. You just you just brought up the two elements that you probably don't have anymore. <laughs> True. Uh, but feisty but on but the court. Yeah, now. but I got I got. He's got the height. I got height. You do. You do. Yeah. Yeah, but how's your how's your jump? cripple it's hey. awesome if i what? take off if i take off from this leg it's awesome <laughs> you gotta land on that leg. no actually like honestly there. talking about playing basketball it makes my whole body tense <laughs> like it would be so painful oh, and terrible but 
I'll play a game of Horus. Yeah, there I don't want to do that. That's a good. That's a good entryway, you know. And then you catch the bug, maybe, and wanna. I'm more of a. Sh- want, I'm very combat. similar. I'm like a short sh- white shack. You want combat? Okay, yeah. You want you want the you want wrestling rebound. Down yeah, I'm that. not very good at free throws, but I can. Like, maybe you guys should play. Let's against play each other because like, like, that's a terrible idea. You'll smoke and I'll me. ref. <laughs> <laughs> go easy on me, please. There's so many He's challenges that come out of the show. I know, right? Uh, Whoops. What are some other ones? Oh, we're supposed to do a big surf challenge. Oh, with, shit. Yeah, with Bert um, Kreischer yeah, and Bert Tom, Kreischer Segura. And Tom Segura. Wow. Sick. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'll believe Scary. that when it happens, but yeah. that, that sounds like a fun day. Yeah, that is going to be a, a magical day. <laughs> they're real competitors, you know? Yeah. Like, they really try, and they're, and I don't want to diss them, but they're surprisingly athletic. I know that that's, like, what do you mean? I'm like, well, you don't look very athletic, <laughs> and you didn't come up being athletic yeah but i well, before Bert broke his sorry uh tom broke his leg and um trying yeah, to dunk a basketball yeah. uh, right so there, before there you go another reason not to play basketball. right before his whole body exploded he did look really they both did they were done they had the rim where they were uh dropping it so it was like nine oh, like, foot yeah yeah and they were both dunking and then when they brought it up to nine and a half that's when tom broke his when, leg oh, but he did like he length. looked like he was gonna do it and he's not that tall so He's athletic. Yeah. Hmm. But surfing? That's a whole different... <laughs> I don't... Yeah, I think that we, well, I think we Bert, got him. Well, and Bert wants to be a, a skimboarder. What? That's that's his big dream. That's what he was showing me. He wa- he wants to, like, really take up skimboarding seriously. And I wow. was like... Okay. Wait, what's... When you run that's, and jump yeah, on the... Yeah. On the- <laughs> that's the worst idea for him ever. <laughs> and when you slam, you slam in shallow water. Yeah, yeah. You're slamming on yeah, hard packed like, sand. Yeah, yeah, and if you're a big boy... <laughs> Oof. And yeah. you got you know like yeah, you don't have fun. arms that match yeah, your like body. No, I've, I've walked out. away from skimming with two completely bloody knees. Yeah, on sand. Yeah, yeah. on sand, just just dripping down my shins. Like that was fun. <laughs> cool. That was a fun day at the beach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to go back. Have you seen Neil Blender do that stuff? Yeah, I used to skim with Neil. Neil Blender does. He's good. Skimboarding with shoes on, and does like pivot to fakies. Of course he does. Like he does weird, well, on, very on a talented. Wave. <laughs> he skimboards out to the wave and then does a trick yeah, on like the wave. Yeah, like do a slasher on it and then turn it to fake. Wow. wow. Yeah, he's, I, I follow he's been doing it. I mean, he, I used to skim with him and Lester at Seal Beach oh, wow. in the wow. late 80s. We okay, go, he's been doing like, it a while. Well, once Whittier closed, they were looking for stuff to do. Oh, okay. And then we would go skimming. Uh, it's fun. Mostly I mean, we would just ride out and try to, uh, me, I would try to catch a shore break and then just do a flip out a flip. of it. That was it. That was <laughs> like cool. a big, big thing. That, that sounds like a good way to. That was cool. Yeah. That sounds fun. Have you surfed at all? No, I'm terrified of the water. Really? So I, Shocks? Yeah. I, I almost drowned when I was like one. And oh, just, drowning. Yeah. And I just. That's a pretty good argument too. Yeah. And I, 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 Sharks are, are part of it in too. It's weird. I'm scared no, of sharks, pool, but, but I've been attacked by, I've been, uh, almost, I've almost drowned. Okay. No shark has ever bit me. Yeah. But my still my biggest fear when I Sharks. go surfing is a shark. Yeah. No, it's I think that's a healthy fear. They're just so Maybe? like, I don't you know, know, once it's, it's, once, it's, okay, once right. it's on, it's like their territory and you suck. Exactly. It's just such a bad it's matchup. It's so rare. I know, but, you know, I'm a, what are the odds? <laughs> the specter of shark. I just know, like one <laughs> grabs heavy. me and I go, I knew it. I knew it was going to be me. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be me, <laughs> and I and I feel like I've, if I'm paddling around in the water with a bunch of surfers, and I'm a shark, and I look at them all, I'm like, that is the most injured seal out of all of them. <laughs> oh my god! So I'm gonna go get him. Yeah, he's all the flailing treat. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> looking all big and meaty. Yeah. That's why we're going to wave holes. Yes. Oh yeah. How are, how are those? It's so good. Is it? Yeah. Yes, it looks it's so good. It looks it's so, so good cool. for a beginner because. You get to the use the same wave over and over again, yeah. and it's not nobody can be like, "Hey, man, like you're not allowed to come here." here. Yeah. It's yeah. like I paid, just like you did. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the line. We are. I am <laughs> going <line>. next. <laughs> I've queued, sir. Nobody waits for you in the parking lot. Like it's just way yeah, all those exactly. other elements that oh, I don't God. enjoy. <laughs> like last, it's I true. I went with those true. guys. It's like him and his brother are like pushing me into a wave. Nobody wanted to beat me up. Yeah, and I was great. very annoying. Very bad at that. <laughs> a safe it was space. so cold. It was 
painfully cold. That was the you, you went to Kelly's, problem. right? Kelly's. No, nah, well, I've has. been a few times, okay. but we went to Waco on the literally last day. They stayed open one extra day for us that's in their winter sick. season. Oh shit, that's so it was, was the coldest. It was fifty. It bitter cold. Yeah. It was if fifty. The, yeah. If the water wasn't moving, it would have fr- froze over. His brother had uh, like a wetsuit and had gloves and all this stuff, and and he was getting out. He's like, lid. use my gloves. I'm like, oh, man, that'd be great because my hands were killing me. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, this is the wetsuit that I use. In uh, Alaska. When I, yeah, when I no. surf in Alaska. <laughs> You're like, what am I and doing? And I was like, here? I'm here with no gloves. <laughs> what are you talking about, Alaska? Um, nobody told me this. Yeah. He tried to get me on that trip. I politely d- declined it. It's hardcore. I respect it. You didn't pass along going. the memo. <laughs> you didn't pass along the memo. Just no, to go my, my brother wanted me to go to, on the trip. Oh, on the Alaska, Alaska trip. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, his yeah, big know. selling point to me was, well, they the boat used to be a fishing boat, and where they stored the fish, they turned that into a sauna, so you can dry your wetsuit there, and maybe yourself too. That was that was his pitch. That, that like that's, 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 that's not, not a, a vacation hard, yeah, I was yeah. got in mind for myself. <laughs> Relax. I need more I like, relaxation, I perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I need just like to hang a, out in the sauna. It's I pretty sick like, though. They get to surf stuff that's never been ridden ever. Yeah, so that is that's cool. you know. I guess you got to get mentally prepared. Should offer but he spent his whole life surfing, right, so right. I appreciate that. If yeah. he had like a really nice charcuterie board, that might make me go because I really like charcuterie. That's what I said. What, like, can you tell me a little bit about the food, right. or the sleeping arrangements? Something cool. It's like, no, you can dry your wetsuit. You're no. on. A, you're on a boat. <laughs> you're eating out of cans. <laughs> I'm gonna need more. Uh, have you eaten any tasty food lately? I know you're a big foodie. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. Where, what's um, some spots? I need some. Dave's oh, hot man. chicken's pretty good. <laughs> we, 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 we've had a couple of those here for mm. sure. Um, you know what? I'm just a huge fan of Matsuhisa here in okay. LA. Have you been there? I haven't. That's Chef Nobu. You know the restaurant Nobu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his original restaurant. Okay. And um, the food is still Ridiculous. as good as ever. That um, sounds... Highly beautiful. recommended. If you go there, get okay. the omakase. Yeah, let him do if his you thing. can afford it, yeah. let him do it. Yeah. And it's not just sushi. It's everything. Anyway, for sure. whatever. That I, sounds delightful. Like I've been there. You asked me. Yeah, I... <laughs> I used to go when I was rich. It was pretty cool. Matsuhisa? Yep. So awesome. I accidentally went there because I thought it was Nobu. And then <laughs> Google Maps like, told you. And I say it's better. <laughs> someone was like, you you did. And I'm like, what do you yeah. mean? He's like, the owner, that's his restaurant. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. Because oh. it was really good. Yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> it all started to make sense now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a glowing review. What are, what are your spots? Uh, I was just, I, I really like Bavel. In downtown, you ever go there? I've heard of it's it. It's like a it's like a Middle Eastern spot. Yeah, and it's just a restaurant bestia. If you're like trying to treat yourself, it's yeah. so good. And then there's this place, Major Domo, that's really really good in downtown too. I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just hungry right oh, now. Oh, Major Domo, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. There's a place here, pretty close to here, called Destroyer. That went for lunch. It's pretty really? insane. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> recommend go there after. There you go, Destroyer. Destroy is a good name for a restaurant. Yeah, good. <laughs> it's a good name for anything. If I had another, <laughs> if I had another kid, I would call him Destroyer. Destroyer, that's a cool name. <laughs> yeah, my uh, my wife is not a big fan of indulging in no? oh. the 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 big meals. Okay, that's fair, I guess. And so uh, I usually save that for when I'm out of town, for sure, to go crazy with the after we're covered in cake, just go wild, you know. Tasting menus, the whole thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. that kind of stuff, mm. right? <laughs> that's that's so funny that's that's what you remember from that shoot because <laughs> M- michael voltaggio i think came out that was it, yeah, yeah because was that was amazing. his restaurant yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 i think that cl- i think they closed they did yeah i, yeah. Tr- I tried to go back there not like a little while ago and i was like no way i was like, gone damn it yeah but i mean covid just yeah he wiped it, so it was just disrupted yeah, every for sure. everything every business it's amazing that anything I made survived. it through no truly truly things seem to be thriving again it appears so. The yes. restaurant business, I mean, at least, hopefully. Yeah, and know. in-person stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My wife's starting culinary school, so that's why I'm like, oh, oh wow. So very food centric. Yeah. About What's her fave? Time. That's a good question. I don't know. That's a. That's a, I should ask her. She really loves sushi, so I should take her to Matsuhisa. Take her to Sushi Zo. Sushi Zo. Yes. Okay. West Where? West L.A. Okay. Sautel zone? No. No? Okay. Has your wife For ever done chocolate sculptures? No. Because that's the that's the highest level of chef. 
<laughs> skills. It does seem see that dude make a skateboard in Vegas. Oh yeah, that's oh, yeah, exactly what rolled. I was referring yeah, to. Yeah, holy, yeah, yeah, that. that that was insane. Amazing, insane. That guy invited me to go to his studio when I'm in Vegas, like his oh. studio thing. And you haven't gone. I haven't been to Vegas. Oh, I, go, I'm doing Alice Mania. <laughs> you should come and sing uh, <laughs> oh Ace of God. Spades. <laughs> and then we'll go. And then we'll go make a chocolate. Yeah, you got it all planned out for Let's me. Let's have a we'll make chocolate, <laughs> chocolate, chocolate, chocolate Tony Hawk and Jason Ellis heads, and we're gonna eat each other's faces. Uh, okay. Most metal shit Sounds on good. earth. We'll do yeah. fake bath salts and eat each other's chocolate yes. face. Yes. Mm, chocolate um, bath salt. Yeah. Uh, uh, just remind me. But L.A. Sushi Zo, and okay. um, right. if you're in San Diego, Hidden Fish. Anyone? That's that's the spot. That's the Hidden sushi fish. spot in San Diego. Yes. Okay. There was another spot that you told me about in SD, maybe near your house that day. Urban Sea. Urban Sea. Yes. Still have. I need His to house has that. got pretty good food. I bet it does. Yep. Do you chef it, it up too? No, he just gets no. food all the time. Yeah. That's all <laughs> yeah, <no>. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Leave the chefing to the chef. I should get. I should get like frequent, frequent whatever Flyer order miles points on all all of the apps. Yeah. Word. Yeah. They should do that. That would be a good idea. They should. Yeah. Reward your customers. Exactly. You customers, come on. Or just surprise me. Yeah. Here, here's, here's a full we meal. We thought you'd like this tonight. <laughs> Here you go. Sir? Yeah. Uh, no? All right. No. Who's the anyway. steak wrap thing that you get for me every time I go down to Oh, the that's show? a fish district. That's because it's near the office. He knows. I, I, I don't even have to say it. I just get a steak wrap for working. That sounds... That's my homie right here. Mm. <laughs> I just, well, it's a default. It's not, it's not like, okay, it's, it's not like some great discovery. Hey, it sounds man, like I, it's a hit. If you don't, I appreciate it. And you have to say, you're well, thank you. Cause I, I, I appreciate it. All right. And it usually comes with a drink as well. He knows wow, me too well. Combo. That's <laughs> yeah. I, I like libations and food. We don't have any time to eat yeah, today. Now I'm Jason, definitely so starving. Yeah, yeah, I want a hot chicken sandwich right now. Like I'm going to destroy you after this. And then, yeah, sorry. I'll send yeah, you photos. You <laughs> For real. Uh, What's next? Today? No, I mean, oh, in general, <laughs> uh, destroy it. No, yeah. um, just issue four, I think, is what's what I'm working issue on right four. now. Yeah, um, yeah, the magazine is definitely like a. a Are you a, doing the layouts like the actual layout on? Uh, yeah, about about half. It used to yeah. be Cork Express. Uh, it's InDesign. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do about it's half. It's been and a while. I have some designer friends that have real jobs, so that I can't just like impose on them all the time. So I do half of the layout, and yeah, it's definitely a a, a full time job. Which do is, you put arbitrary deadlines on yourself? I do, and I break them all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering about that. I try. <laughs> We're doing two a year, and I don't know, March. Yeah, yeah, March, April, whatever. It's a sliding scale. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I do, and I try, I try to stick to them. But it has given me so much respect for people that make magazines every month and like really, really do a great job and pump them out. And it's like a whole new level of respect because I've worked for magazines since I was 19. I got my first internship at Transworld. And so I've been around it, but now like being the one that's in charge of everything, I'm like, wow, this is a whole different kettle of fish. Can it be profitable? Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I got, I'm getting the feeling it's probably not. <laughs> no, as of now I'm still paying to do it, but yeah, um, it's, it's worth it to me. It's, that's like us with our podcast. Thanks for bringing that up, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. You can itch. You got to scratch. We're, we're you know? getting we're getting closer to not being underwater. There you go. Yeah, that sounds cool. <laughs> if we weren't, no, I don't want to. Yeah, no. Hey, look, we're we're great. Just no one's figured it out yet. Yeah, <laughs> hey, it takes everything. Great takes time. That's to what blossom, they. That's you know? it. That's all it is. <laughs> I, you know, I'm just gonna keep holding my breath. I can. I'm Aqualung. I can do this. <laughs> Aqualung. Let's suffer. Do you have old photographers that want to be uh, take photos for your magazine to get back in magazines? What, what's what's old? I Great. feel like I'm going to get in trouble. I don't want to. <laughs> now I don't want to. Oh, no, the, I, the actually, first guys, the people that you looked up to, not I, old. Sorry. I asked Grant, so I had this idea that I think we're going to do for this coming issue. That's like uh, six photographers shoot the same skater doing the same trick, just to show Whoa. Them, uh, that's sick. like different people's photographic styles and how you would interpret a situation uh, differently. And we asked Grant, and he was like. I, I don't think I'm going to come up to L.A. And I was like, okay, damn it. What? He, why does he have to go to L.A.? Uh, I mean, we, you know, he didn't actually. It, we haven't chosen the spot. I think Ashad Ware is going to do it, but we haven't chosen the spot because that's another difficult thing. It's like, oh, I see. You have to find a spot that has a lot of different options. But I, would, I was imagining in, in L.A., so 
But, you know, maybe we should make it an SD and then we can get Grant to do it. I just got to think of a spot. But, yeah, I mean, for sure. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you and me. Uh, yeah, so right. Let's put our bid in. Oh, oh, then yeah. yeah. What about Tony and I at Tony's Ranch? <laughs> <laughs> Doing doubles. Hey, that's yeah. a good spot. You guys spot. want to do six that's doubles? That's a good spot, right? <laughs> yeah. That is a good spot. I know that spot. I, mean, well, I got a key. We can get in there whenever you want. <laughs> no bust? There's no bust there, is there? Hell yeah. <laughs> Total. Go for it. Uh, but yeah, no. I really, can probably get you a steak wrap before it starts. Mm, please. Do. I'm actually really hungry now. They're God. really good. Damn it. Um, no, Amelia has sent me photos. Oliver Barton sends photos, too. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so it's 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 kind of like the older generation and some I'm trying to bring up some of the younger kids too. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think a blank it's great. slate. It's fun. Yeah. It's a good time for sure. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. <laughs> for real. I, I love seeing it. It gets me excited that there's a I mean, it, what do we have? Thrasher? Yeah. Yeah, and they do a, a ma- like an amazing amazing job at what they do, but this is a completely different thing. Right. Yeah. But I I get excited when it comes in the mail. So, um thank you for putting me on the list. For sure. Thanks for including me in the, well, it wasn't for that, but what became that? <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You need me to water Thank my lawn again. Thank you for again, taking time. <laughs> Ma'am, can you please come to my house? <laughs> I got to show you, I'll show you the photo after. It's yeah. funny as hell. <laughs> I made you take your shoes off. <laughs> I was <just laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh, it was what funny. the hell? It was funny. It's a good look. Yeah. yeah. No, it's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay um, all right well maybe we'll and you know you're welcome to come by the ramp too we're we're going to be there pretty regularly going forward i think yeah that would right? be rad yeah. i haven't been yes. there in a very long time it'd be sick yeah it's on be sick to see doop doop too i haven't seen that man in a long time oh yeah derek is crushing it the man always i feel he like just did a, he well it'll, i don't know when this is gonna air so he he headed a project for me that was a a mountain of effort and made it happen. Yeah. The Cobain project. If we, if this airs after it. Okay. It's pretty amazing. All right. Wow. Okay. Well, thanks Sick. Sam. Thank you guys. I appreciate um, it. Thanks and, for having uh, me here. Keep, uh, keep print alive. Yeah. Please. Yeah. I'll I want do one my of best. those in my house. It'd feel good best. to wake up and look at that. Be like, look at skateboard magazine. You could touch it. I got three here for you. Yeah. I'll take one. Yeah. Thanks mate. Yeah, for sure. All right. All right. Make sure you like and describe. Uh, or, or, I mean, if you don't. And subscribe. To, can you subscribe to the magazine? No, you just buy individual copies. The subscription sounds scary because then you have to hit deadlines. Oh, <laughs> yeah. How do you get it? Uh, you just get it, buy it on the website. 2001magazine.com. There you go. Got it. Yeah. Go there. Yeah. See you later.